The suspect, accused of throwing a chemical substance on his ex-girlfriend in Mililani, made his initial court appearance today. New court documents allege the suspect tried to manipulate his GPS data on his cell phone, hoping to establish an alibi. Christy Tomashiro has details. Paul Cameron appeared in court via video conference Monday. Court documents allege that in the weeks leading up to the incident, Cameron asked a friend how to get a ghost gun and where to get hydrochloric acid. The complaint also details text and social media messages involving Cameron trying to purchase a ghost gun and chemicals. His attorney says he's innocent. Uh, my client has great empathy and sympathy for the victim in this case. He did not do this offense. He is not responsible for the terrible injury she sustained. And we intend to vigorously for the fight this, this case. The complaint adds Cameron was interviewed by police and said he was on a hike near Hanama Bay at the time of the incident. The documents add Cameron provided police a screenshot of his GPS location near that area. However, the complaint says a search warrant on Cameron's phone revealed his location in both Mililani and East Oahu at the same time. Another search warrant was executed for cell tower data, which showed he was in Mililani. Court documents show Cameron visited a website that can change GPS locations. It's like they trick the cell phone tower into thinking that you're somewhere that you're not. And the only way that you can prove that can be unproven is that you go to that they go to the actual, you know, service provider. Despite HPD's cell phone data they recovered, Cameron's attorney filed a motion Monday stating his client's alibi is solid. They have the cell phone. They can ping the area where my client was located and will establish that he was not up in Mulani where this assault took place. Cameron's bail is set for $2 million, which his attorneys requested to reduce, calling the amount outrageous. This individual has no prior criminal history whatsoever, parking tickets, any citations, any contempt of court. The judge denied the request. Cameron's preliminary hearing is scheduled for Wednesday. Christy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.